Hey guys, what is up? How are you? I'm back today. Oh my god, I didn't say I'm back today. Whoa. I like this is like the first video I've ever done where I like started out differently. Like, oh my god, like whoa. Um, hi. Okay, so I am in, I'm in that same area where in my house where I'm not using a ring light and I'm just kind of nervous that like it's like the lighting isn't good. Okay, I guess I have so much shit to talk tell you about. Like I bought like so many things. I've, I you guys know I talk way too much. I'm just gonna try to get right into it. Um, this is just like this video is shit you fucking need. Like it's kind of a favorites video, but it's just like not. There's like other things I'm gonna talk about that is not a favorite. I'm gonna talk about fucking ice. You know what I mean? Like okay, so um, this morning on Insta Insta I asked you. I was like, should I like, talk about this like bougie, bougie ice? Like yes, there is bougie ice. Okay, and there's disgusting ass shit ice. There's a lot of different kinds of ice. I know it's like so crazy, um, but it's true. So whatever. Okay. I'm really, I'm very blinky today. I don't know what my problem is. I'm, I don't know. I, I probably turned into some kind of like weird tick at this point. Like I have no idea what the fuck is wrong with me. I'm like, I'm like, what's it called? I have like Tourette's, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know. But I feel like I do. Okay. Um, I, I'll talk about the ice first because the drink is sitting right in front of me. This is my um, sparkling apple juice that you guys know that I drink that I love. And this glass is from Williams Sonoma. All right, I'm just gonna start off by telling you guys, like, I really hate my, you guys know I just want people to be like more resourceful. I guess, I don't like when it's like, where'd you get it, 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 like, like if there's a fucking tree in my backyard, someone's like, oh my God, where'd you get that tree? Like, I fucking love that tree. Like, it's, it's a little bit excessive. You guys know I've like, went on a rant about this in the past and like, the, just like how unresourceful people are. And I like, as much as like, I love you guys so much, it's like, oh my God, like, first of all, if I've said where I've gotten something in the past, I'm not gonna say it again. Like, I might say it again if I want to, but if I don't want to, I don't want to, you know? Like, it just becomes not fun for me. And I wanna have fun doing this, or I'm not gonna wanna do this, you know? Like, so. Mm. Um, so yeah. Uh, uh, what was I say? Okay, bougie ice. Okay, let me talk about bougie ice. I'm just gonna like roll with this because I don't really even know what I'm talking about, honestly. But do you know like different kinds of ice? You know like those half moon shaped kinds of ice that like people have in their freezers, like their freezers make? That ice is disgusting. Like if I go to someone's house and they give me like water with that ice, I'm, it's gonna smell like your frozen food. Like it is so disgusting, not to mention it is opaque. Like it's an opaque ice. It is so, like, to me it's just so gross. It makes the drink, drink taste disgusting. I, like literally I feel like I'm drinking food, frozen food infused ice cube water. You know what I mean? It's so gross. Um, I like, okay, this, this ice is very bougie. I'm gonna show you. I have buy bags of ice because I have a very stu like ghetto fucking um, refrigerator, whatever it came with the house. And um, it doesn't make ice, so I have to buy ice. So my usually I used to buy a bag of ice. There's like ice on it. You know what I mean? Like just fucking basic ice. But my I have like go to like this bougie supermarket, and they have like bougie ice now. Can I show you this ice? This is like bougie. You guys be like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm looking at it. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? But it's clear. This ice is clear. Okay, <sighs> just shut up. This ice is clear. It is so pretty. It's like, it is ice that you get at like the restaurant. It's restaurant ice, okay? It's not like house ice. House ice is so, so fucking disgusting. I hate it. Um, so yeah. So I also, I should, I should disclaim that I have like a two or three martini max and I had, I probably had like, like maybe like three and a half or four last night. So I'm just kind of like slightly hungover, which makes me like a little bit more jittery. Um, just putting the disclaimer out there. Okay, so I talked about bougie eyes. His eyes is bougie. The shape I love, except with the ones that stick together, it's disgusting. I don't like when they stick together. I like when they're like individual pieces of ice. Um, so that's that. Okay. Um, next thing I talk about um, just things that you. Okay, I don't like what I said. This is like my obviously my hair is um, is in it. I, you guys, we've already talked. I feel like I've talked about the hair because I've been all over Instagram. I've already talked about it. I snapped about it. Like you know, yes, I love my hair. You guys, it's just so funny because um, when I have short, like you guys are like. Alex, when I got the short, when I cut my hair, you're like, oh my god, don't ever get those fucking ratchet extensions back in. Now I get the extensions back in, you guys love it. I just, maybe it's the change you got, everyone likes, I don't know. I, I definitely feel way more on with hair. Like, I, I just do. I feel way more on with hair, uh, long hair, you know what I mean? So I love it, um, except, I don't know, I'll probably go back short again. I just kind of like switch around. 
Um, okay, so I have random shit to talk to you about. Like, it's just obviously Alex shit. It's not like, you know what I mean? Like, oh my god, I went to Target at Sephora and look at my Sephora haul and my candles, and my Bath Body Works candles, and then I went to Zara and oh my god, like, no, it's not that. It's like fucking, I don't even know what it is. Like, everything under the fucking sun, like, literally. Um, I want to say something, actually. I really want to say it because I really want to say it because I really want to save someone's life, okay? Because I am literally the smartest person in the world. Like, I'm gonna fucking give my, like, Alex, I love you, okay? I know, I'm like crazy today, right? Alex, I fucking love you. Like, you are, like, I'm really gonna tell myself I love you. Um, we gotta talk about my makeup, too. Um, reminder, okay? Um, I just, uh, Thank you, Alex. Thank you for being like bad and thank you for like just generally not being a trusting person. And thank you so much, honestly, for always thinking about worst case scenario just so that your fucking ass is covered. Like, thank you. I'm not gonna get into it, but uh, let me tell you how much I saved my ass. Please, you guys, please, even if you don't think that anything will happen in your life, Please get a prenup, okay? And I'm just gonna leave it at that. Like literally, especially in the state of California, I'm telling you, just fucking do it. Just fucking do it, okay? I, oh, Alex, you are so smart. Like I'm like, thank, I don't know. Like seriously, thank you, Alex. Thank you. Thank you for not being a fucking dumb ass broad, okay? Like thank you. All right, next. So that's on the must, okay? If you just spend your money on it. Just spend your fucking money on it. Okay. That went a little bit too long, but just like in like hindsight, like just I'm dealing with, you know, I'm just like, oh my God. Okay. So, um, let's talk about things. What am I talking about? I'm jittery, you guys. I'm jittery because I fucking drank too much last night. Okay. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the first thing I'm talking about is my makeup. Let's talk about makeup. Okay. Um, this is now Dead Girl. And um, this is another version of Dead Girl. I don't think I'm going to be doing Dead Girl anymore. It's clashing with my hair. It's too much. Like, I feel like I'm, I cannot wear eyeshadow and have long hair. I feel like, I feel like a caked on ass bitch. And you guys know I don't like to look like I wear a lot of makeup. I just not, I just don't like that. I like to have like a very fresh face. But I do like, like single eyeshadow colors now. So when I was trying to do Dead Girl the other day, like nothing was looking good. I was just looking mismatched and like cakey and I don't know what it is, but it just was not looking good at all. So I was like, you know what? Like I don't, I was like, but I don't want to not wear um, eyeshadow. I don't want to. So I just tried like this really, really white, let me show you, this really, really white eyeshadow. And I've always liked eye white eyeshadow. I just, I don't know. I, for some reason it's working now. Like, you know, like sometimes makeup colors, like I don't even know work and sometimes they don't on you depending on like the fucking day, literally. But I really like it. Do you guys like it? This is like, this is another version of Dead, Dead Girl. It's the Dead Girl like avalanche. Like I was caught in an avalanche or a blizzard and my eyes are like, like literally my eyes are frozen. Like, you know when you see like, if you saw like a dead person, like who's frozen over their eyes have that like because their eyes are like gone so their eyes are like what there's like white is it like dead dead skin i don't fucking know but it's just like white okay all right whatever i'm a little bit crazy today okay so and um, that's why i'm gonna go show you my morphe palettes yes i love my morphe palettes you guys i know oh my god anyone of morphe can we please do something i really want to do something with morphe okay because i just love their palettes and i was like alex you have like four followers like shut the fuck up they don't even stupid but this is the one i'm using today it's this one um from number 350 nature glow which i already told you guys to buy this so you better have done it because when I tell you to buy something you should fucking buy it because I promise you it's fucking good you know what I mean so Morphe palettes is something that you need to fucking just do it just fucking get it just get them you get like 400 colors for like $20 so worth it um I love those so I'll put the links I'll try to put links to everything I'm talking about um except I don't have link link for prenup but you guys have to do that yourself um <laughs> but okay it's true Okay, Ming's over there. All right, um, I'm gonna get in trouble. Am I, am I gonna get in fucking trouble? Yeah, whatever, fuck off, okay. Next thing I'm gonna talk about, okay, actually, I'm just seriously, okay. You guys, did you even know I had this bag? Probably didn't because I never fucking use it because it's just something I don't fucking use until I created an HRH pre-made bag chain for it. And now I use it every day. This has like become my new work bag. The problem with this, this is the Jumbo, um, Chanel Jumbo classic bag. If you don't, 
have, I'm getting text, sorry. If you, this tap bag is way too big. It's just like the most obnoxious, stupid bag. It's the most basic fucking dumb bag. Like, I actually don't like it. I don't know why I bought it. I, I, I bought it a couple years ago and I never use it. It's just a stupid bag. Like no matter what length you use on this chain, you fucking look stupid. Like when you have people wearing it, I just think it's a, you look stupid. I don't know what it is about it. I just, you just don't look good. Like if it's either too long, it like hangs on your fucking knees or it's like a weird, sh like it's not the right length. Okay. It's just fucking not the right length. So uh, you guys know, I love top handles and I made this top handle a little bit different. This top, this will work with your maxis or your jumbos. I come in silver and gold. And this chain, like I told you, it's signature to my line. It is heavy and solid. People who have this, who have my bag chains, please feel free to comment below to tell you, to just say how much you love the, your bag chains. I get emails all day long and DMs all day long about like how much you guys love these bag chains. These are solid, beautiful, amazing, qual high quality silver and gold color chains. And they are like amazing. They're not hollow, you know what I mean, they're solid, they are really, really gorgeous, and when you get them, you'll be like, holy fuck, these are luxe as shit, like, these look like they belong with the bags, you know, okay, so, this one, I designed it specifically because I, I love a tight shouldered bag, I think this is so chic, like this, you know what I mean, and it fits right there, like, on, like, the crook of your arm, which is, I feel like it's just so, like, it's really just so fuck you, I love it, and then it's perfect for this, too, um, and then you guys know I always do love the top handle because top handles make you look very skinny You can cover like literally your entire stomach with top handles So that's why I have a top handle on every single one of my bags now um, And then if you guys don't like the big this is the chunky chain. I love uh, the, the Privé, the original Privé, the big chunky chain is my favorite. I do offer a Privé Mini, which is a, the equally as amazing, beautiful quality, but it's just a smaller gauge. So you can choose either one, but when you go on um, my listing for this so if you go on to buy it, um, you have to just look, there's actually a drop down so you can choose like mini, medium, large, or you can choose um, Chanel or Maxi, or sorry, Maxi or Jumbo chain. So it's there for you just to choose. You don't have to like, you know what I mean? You only drop down. You guys, I told you I'm on one today. Okay, sorry, I can't talk. So, so cool. I love it so much. It's like new favorite bag. Like literally, I love it because I like went shopping in my own closet and I'm just like, I, I love it. Like I don't have to, I, I was like, I don't feel like I need to buy a bag. You know what I mean? Cause I just got another one. I just got a bag that I haven't used in so long. Okay. Love that. Um, next I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about, um, heels. So I'm really, really super into a certain kind of heel now. It's a low chunky, not low, like a medium height chunky. What is this? Like four inches, three three inches, um, low chunky heels. I just love them so much. And honestly, you guys, I think I'm going to do something which is like really, really like super ghetto. It's like very old lady. Um, and it is kind of like tacky, tacky as fuck too, but I really want to wear my Adidas yoga pants with like these. I don't give a fuck. Like, I think it looks so cute. It looks like so, I don't know what it looks like, but I just like what I don't know. It was like flip flopping around to my house the other day, and I was just like had yoga pants on, and I put those shoes on. I was like, Ugh. like you look so like cool. I don't know what it is. I don't know like what the vibe is, but I just love the vibe. So, um, I'm I kind of want to do it. I just don't know if I have like the balls to do it because it's like really kind of outrageous. What do you guys think? Um, but. I really do. So I love it. I feel like these are just so versatile. Like these are the kind of shoes that you, everyone can, like, you can wear them everywhere. Like, you know, sometimes, oh wow, like a hot pink car just drove by. Um, like what was I going to say? Uh, you can wear these everywhere. Like, you know, sometimes you don't want to wear heels or whatever, or like you don't really want to wear flats. This is like the best medium kind of like size and I just love it. So these are my Ferragamo. I got them. I just love them. They're so Art Deco. They're so Jean Harlow. They're so 1970s, even though those are completely different eras. Um, so architectural. Like I, I kind of want to go, the problem, they have other colors, but I just wouldn't wear the other colors. Um, I, I fucking love this heel. Everything about it. It kind of reminds me of my furniture. I'm like, you know, I just, I, there's, these are amazing. I love them so much. So those, and then I got these uh, pink ones. These are by I don't know how to pronounce this. Mason Mar Margella. Oh, fuck no. Okay, I can't read or write or fucking do anything. These are so cool. These are very um, Elvira Hancock, I feel like. They're also very Casino. The girl in Casino, I always forget her name. Um, Ginger. Yes, they're all very, this is very like Vegas, seven, 1970s. I don't know. It's just so fucking cool. This is so, ugh. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, that. Um, oh, I got a new perfume. Okay, I came. Remember, I told you guys I really wanted this. This is so expensive. So I told you guys I was just like not. I have so many perfumes, but I just love smells. I love music. I love like things that make me happy. I love candles. Like I don't know what you know what I mean. Like I love that kind of stuff. Like. You know, it's like very, like, smells and music are very emotional for me. Okay, so, um, this is Tom Ford's Sol de pa Posit Positano. Positano? Is that Positano? I know it's a fucking place in Italy. Okay, I know that. Um, so the problem with I did, I bought the, there was like an aerosol version, of like an all-over body spray, um, and it's not Positano. It's like another one, and I was like, che I cheaped out. I was like, I'm not spending $225. What is this, $300? I'm just gonna get the other one. It smells similar, and you know, of course, I went. And I bought that like five months ago, and I still th thought of this, and I bought this too. It's like, why didn't I just fucking buy this right off the bat? Now I would have saved seventy dollars before, and like, it's just stupid, you know. This is like, okay, this is the my favorite fucking scent ever. I love it. I love it. It just, I don't know what it smells like. I actually, don't even know what it fucking smells like. What does it smell like, you guys? You guys are like very knowledgeable. What, what is this? What does it smell like? I don't know. I love it. Um. I love it. Um, uh, that is off-centered. Wow. Okay, that's tacky. Okay, next I'm going to talk about oh, sunglasses. Okay, you guys, have you guys been going? You guys know that I, um, I guess I'm, I guess I'm working. I don't know. Not really. I, I just was able to like, whatever. I don't know. I, I don't think it's working, but I am, I guess I can say working. I guess it's true. Um, I'm working with um, Lapis in basically I'll just say it one more time is that I've been going to the sunglass Korean sunglass store in Koreatown for about four five, four years um, probably four years and finally like they I guess they kind of like were, oh we know who you are or something and like you know whatever so that's how it developed but I genuinely love their sunglasses like I have I purchased their sunglasses many times just by going in there um, and anyway so there are some sun I on their website now, there's a section where just there's just pictures of me on there and my favorite pics from their store, like all the ones that I have that I wear. And there's like a couple pairs that are only $100, and these are all handmade in Korea. I want to show you guys this pair too. A lot of you guys bought this pair in the clear, um, clear kind of a semi-clear lens, but there's also one with a metallic lens. These are only $100 that are all handmade in Korea, so like very K-pop, very cool. And look at how like fab they are. They're a silver, almost like um, a, look at how gorgeous. Oh, they're so fucking cool. They have these in a clear, and they have these in this metallic. It's almost like a violet metallic. Um, they are so sick. So only a hundred dollars, and you get and they're just really, really amazing, cool quality. And you won't be able to find these anywhere. Like no one else will have these. You guys know I love that. So I'll put the link below. Go check it out. Just for my subscribers, I had like worked out the deal where there was a certain ones that were $100 just for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna talk about headband. I got this headband, yeah, I think, did I talk about this last time? I don't remember. This is the Miu Miu headband, and I bought this when I had short hair, so I don't know if I can pull it off. I'm gonna look like a fucking freak now, like fucking weave, and now a headband, I don't know. I'm gonna try to make it work, but I think I'm only gonna do it when I like pull my hair back. Like if I totally pull it back and like put it in like a low bun or something, then I can put it on, but I, I don't know, this is like, little princess with like long hair I don't I don't know I thought it was like very very cool before because I had like short hair and um my god Ron is so gross Ron sends me the fucking lamest shit he's so obnoxious he's literally like that little obnoxious brother who he's just like he's like a pest literally so annoying um so yeah, I love it I just I mean I love it so gorgeous it's um there's like Swarovski crystals from here like so it's pearls Swarovski crystals pearls Swarovski crystals like it's very very cool I love it um very pretty okay then I'm going to talk about okay DOCBH so you guys okay what I love okay this I um you guys I'm just so fucking stoked that these are world that these that my like philosophy or like what is it my my this like I don't know what it is, this concept I had, I'm so happy that you guys just fucking got it. Like, and I've talked about this before, I'm not gonna get into it, but I just really still wanna tell you guys how much it means to me that we are on the same page. Like, it means so much just to know that I that you guys love shit like that I love. Okay, so these are my DOC BH Department of, sorry, Beverly Hills, so it's Department of Corrections, Beverly Hills, and um, they come in pink and they come in black, and the first 
batch completely sold out. Now we have the second batch and already we are on to, already on to a third batch. So um, I also want to tell you guys, like these are like badass shirts and not like you guys might not think they're for everyone. I can't pull it off. I have the girliest of girl customers, like super girly girl customers who I've had for a very long time. And I remember I, when I launched these, I was like, usually like we will text back and forth, but I, and I'll, you know, she'll be, like my friends will be like, oh, I, I want this, this and this or whatever. And um, with the shirts, I didn't expect that my girly girl um, customer friends would would be interested in them and they were she some of the girls were like they they bought them and I I, I don't know if they were I was like oh they're just supporting me they will text me like Alex thank you like oh my god I love them so 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 much so if you're like a girly girl out there and you think maybe it's not for me my girly girl customers even like them which is just I, I love that because I was af I was like I, I was afraid that I wasn't doing things for like everyone and I was like limiting limiting myself even though I was like too bad like I you guys know how I am I have to do what I want to do um like and I won't sell things like I could put something like on a shirt that everyone would love but I'm not gonna fucking do that okay like no so stupid like I have to do what I fucking love um so these are for every like bad bad and bougie girl and boy and they're supposed to be meant to fit oversized. I'm so happy you guys are loving them. They are amazing. I wear mine literally almost every fucking day. Like I, like after I take a photo, sometimes I'll change back into my DOCBH. Like I just love it. I'm gonna keep this this train going. I want this to like not like fade. Like I want this to like this thing to last because it is like the concept. I just am so proud of it and I love it. And it's so fucking me. Like just misbehaving in Beverly Hills and like doing my fucking shit and like whatever. Going to fucking Department of Correction Beverly Hills. Like give me a fucking martini, whatever. <laughs> For real though. Um, so this is it and I'm just so happy and I want to show you guys the big we have like sport style like big labels HRH um, they're all like threaded beautiful labels inside but they're not like little like cheapy stupid like, labels but yeah okay sorry had, of course you was no I have to talk about DOCBH we're talking about now okay let's talk about two makeup items <sighs> okay two fun makeup items and um, I'm gonna talk about this so I just went I went to Sephora. I haven't been to Sephora in a long time, and I hadn't checked out Fenty. I, I, I didn't. I, I heard about it and looked pretty, but I don't like trendy shit. And then I saw this, and I saw the price, and I was like, Oh my god! It's like it's not like a big deal if I don't like it. It's not like a huge investment. I got this um, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer, and I I actually genuinely love it. Um, but I think it might be because of my skincare. I changed my skincare, you guys, and I got some. I'll tell you, I got some samples from this really really nice woman. You know, you know the woman who like gave me that free lipstick that one time that was like a tester lipstick and she's like whatever you can just have it um her she's so fucking nice i love her at um neiman marcus yeah in um, beverly hills so i'll tell you about my skincare in a second but this i really like it i really 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 like it i really like it okay then laura geller you guys know i'm on a huge ulta um ulta like thing right now but laura geller i've actually been a big fan of hers for a long time i i uh, my mom and i i was we were watching qvc one day like 10 years ago and we got suckered into her bronzer and brighton and bron bronze and brighton and it's it was we love it like i'm not into like a bronzy face kind of thing anymore but i really love her her stuff so i always check out laura geller when i go to um Ulta and this is her Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops and this is in the Diamond Dust and it looks like a little bit of an opaly AB color and I put it mix it in with like a couple one big drop because I want like a very dewy face a big drop with my foundation and I mix it and I put it on and I really really love it I really love it but I always like her things um I always like her things you guys know I've always liked a not Draw, uh, a wet face and she's always done like bright stuff and so it doesn't look like you have a cakey face to me like the, the stuff I've used um so yeah I like her um then I'm going to talk about my K my K or Weiss and I'm okay you guys know I was very in love with this um believe this was like the number one but the one I'm like even more in love with is brilliant and it's just very orangey color and it's I love it, it I fucking love it it's just so perfect and that's how I put it on, I just kind of like brush it. I love, I just love this brand. Um, and I hope to be getting more um, things soon. I'm gonna try some new, more things out. I love them, I told you, I, I found this brand when I was at this really bougie uh, makeup store near my house and I like, was just immediately drawn to it because of like how bougie it was. So love this color, how pretty it is. 
it's so 70s. It's so fucking 70s. Because what am I going to do about my makeup? Like, am I not going to do, do, do Dead Girl anymore? Do you agree with me that, like, I, I, I'm a little bit too, like, made up if I have, like, long hair? Like, fucking, you know what I mean? Oh, check out my jewelry. <laughs> Zero. Can't even complete a sentence. Okay. Um, let's talk about earrings. Yes, you guys, I am wearing earrings. And I told you guys in my last video, or I think I said it somewhere, the reason I don't wear earrings, I don't like my ears. Like, I feel like I have a big earlobe and I was like totally made fun of for that like what if people like like children are the absolute fucking worst like I had the worst like childhood regarding school like in elementary school every fucking p portion of school for me was the shits like the fucking shits but um in junior high they kept calling me like they were so mean they were already calling me fat they were already like saying how like I was like so nerdy or whatever and then they would like then they kept saying HL, 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 oh my god, HL, like, and they, that's like, it meant like huge lobes, I guess. Isn't that so fucking mean? Like, this is so goddamn vicious, you're gonna pick someone apart that much? <gasps> Fuck, you know? But actually, I should get into a story about bullying and like stuff. I, I just actually am happy I was bullied. I really am happy I didn't have any friends. Like, I really wouldn't be like as strong as I am and like who I am today if I wasn't bullied. So I actually don't hate the people that did it. I just think that they're pathetic people, but I mean, they're probably not now. People suck, but whatever. Okay, I just want to show you guys my earrings. Oh, these are from Chanel. Um, I really love them. They're little pink locks, and I just think they are so badass. Like, I fucking love them. They are so cool. So those are those. I know I will. Sh I will cover my ears now because they look so big. Um, and then my jewelry I'm wearing today. Oh my god, I love it so much. You guys, I am telling you. I am telling you. Do not think about what you stack. Like just right now, before I got ready for do a video, I was just like, oh. <laughs> like this, 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 I put it on and it was like, ta-da, it was like so um, perfect and everything. So you guys know everything in my line, I make like different, like slightly different lengths so that you can all wear wear everything and mix and match everything. Um, even my lariats are all slightly different uh, lengths so that you can mix and match anything you want and it will just layer. So this is my Mignon chain and I love, 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 this is my Mignon long choker and I love it. Um, it comes in rose gold, silver, and gold and I is just so fucking badass. If you wear this with your DOCBH shirt, it is like so fucking bougie, so fucking badass. I love it. It's just very, very cool. Um, this is my Palm Beach necklace. I love it. It's so, um, it's so Elvira Hancock. Like it really is. I just love it. It's very like Miami kind of looking chain. Um, and these are my mix and match pendants. I have a star on and my large heart. And this is the 18 inch chain, or is it 19? And this is the 21. So that's how they stack. Um, but you can make you can make this one shorter if you want, or this one longer. You can get other star I have a double star option as well like they come in silver you guys there's millions of options like I love that I love to have like all these choices and like choose what I like because just in case you're like hmm I would rather have that with that like I can do it for you, you know what I mean and then this is my long delicate long um tattoo choker still it's a delicate long delicate necklace with um, the tattoo options really flat pretty um link chains like thousands of little tiny links that lay flat and it's very sparkly so that's that and then of course I'm wearing my uh, Chevalier and my chain ring no pills today I felt like it was a little bit too much okay am I doing a neck stack we're doing an arm to arm stack I kind of like feel bad not wearing my pills um, so I do wear them every day but um, didn't wear those okay what else am I gonna do I feel like I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, the skincare, the fucking skincare. Actually, I'm gonna ask you guys about this because I don't know. I just so I told you that lady gave me this skincare. Um, I'm because I'm like shameless. I'm like, oh, can I have some samples? Like I always say that. I always ask for samples every time. Like, why not? You know what I mean? Like I fucking love samples. So she's like, oh yeah. She's like, and she's always so nice. She's like, I'm gonna give you these like the best samples. So she, I, I, I kind of trust her because she's she hasn't like steered me wrong and she gave me that free lipstick. Like she's not one of those like like money hungry fucking obnoxious as sales associates. <clears throat> hate um so this is called Rev revive i don't know and she told me she's like you'll love the eye cream it's like botox in cream form and i was like yeah okay whatever um i haven't noticed anything on my eyes that's amazing but the anti-aging oil my face has i mean, I, I'm all, I think i'm blessed with like nice skin like decent skin but it can there's always room for improvement like i have visible pores and like you know like it's people it's fucking i have skin like skin's not perfect um so this it's it's i wake up in the morning and i look really good like better than usual i mean so do you guys know this brand i don't know I'm, i've been using it i think i might buy it i don't know how much it costs like is it really expensive i don't know um i think this might be my next purchase i'm not sure maybe i'll just go in and try to get some more samples 
<laughs> but like, hey, um, by the way, okay. Uh, what else should I talk about? I, uh, should we do music? You guys, I love music. Okay, and I, you guys love my music choices, which, thank you. I, I actually think I have a very good taste in music. Like, I think I've always had a good taste in music. Um, so, actually, yeah, I love, I fucking love music so much. <sighs> oh, I will bring something up. I was, am I talking too much? Yeah, I'm, I'm annoying. I'm, I'm already exhausted for myself. Music. See, I'm kind of shaky from, I just have one, I have one, that one martini will put you over the top. You know what I mean? It's like... But I didn't just let him like be a party pooper, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna like buzzkill. Okay, um, so what, I'm just gonna show you the ones that I have on my top right now. I might, like, you know, like the, my recent downloads, just in case, I don't know how far we have been since, you know what I mean? Okay, um, here we go. I, okay, a new favorite, this one I, I when I went to Greece to visit, visit family in like, I was like in, in high school, it was my like junior year of high school. This Manu Chow, me gustas too. Um, this was big. This was big that summer, and I remember. I remember the song, and I was like, wait, what the fuck is that song? So I just bought it again, but I love that song. I've been listening to it a lot. Love it. I just love it. It's like it's a very cool song. Um, of course, I have Cardi B, Bodak Yellow, Bardier, Cardi, Bardier, Cardi. I love those. She's so badass. Like, um, you know, I'm always in the mood for that. And then uh, A Lover's Conce Concerto by The Toys. I love this song. I love this song. <laughs> love this song by the toys okay and then this one stand by your man by tammy Wynette, which you guys know the song i love it you know. okay love that song and then um what's another one actually that I played it in my last, I was listening to it in my last video. This one is um, B O Y Z. Here we go. Dynamite Hat. Oh, love a song! This one is also from high school memories. I was like trying to rebel in high school, it didn't work out. <laughs> my parents would never love that shit. Okay, so that those are what I kind of like right now. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know. I'm not, I have so many things. I have like uh, so much more makeup to show you, but like things I've already talked about like in other videos, you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna talk about them again. Um, actually, I had a little list. Let me just triple, triple, quadruple check. Oh, my, the jewelry. You guys know that if I wear a stack, a necklace stack, I do discounts. So you can email me like if you like, Alex, oh, I love that stack you were wearing. Um, I, I do discounts just so you guys know. Okay, I'm gonna end it with this. I'm gonna end it with this because um, I'm gonna end it with Skinny Legend and like all that shit. Okay, so I, you guys know I cannot fucking stand like slay, like slay queen, like boss, boss bitch, like um, I just, I hate that shit. Like Skinny Legend, like it's just like nails on a chalkboard, but I mean, when I say it, like I will never say it, like I just can't even bring myself to say it, just like, a so it was like diarrhea, you know? But when you guys write that shit on my, on my um, Instagram, like I fucking laugh every time. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like I can see you saying it and I just, I love it. It's so weird, I don't know why I wanna tell you that, but um, I just, it's so like, it's like the most revolting, stupid shit. Like, it's just so pathetic, I'm pathetic. it's like so, Nails on a chalkboard, but when you guys say it, I fuck, I'm like, okay, I fucking love, like, I just so funny. It makes me laugh. Um, and I, I'm, I don't really laugh easy, like, actually. <laughs> Do I don't know. I don't really laugh easy, but you guys make me fucking laugh. I don't know what it is. Like, you guys are so hilarious. Um, so I, I don't know why I said that. I was like gonna say it, whatever. I'm just, you guys know I'm all over the place. Okay, so that's it. Let me have a glass. This is like, I wasted my eyes. Look how pretty it is. It's gorgeous. Like, so pretty. This is not. That's it. Okay. Okay. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>